drying the surface so that I can cut sodium. Here's my sodium. should be wearing gloves. In fact, I'll put some on. And sodium is soft metal. I should be able to cut a large piece. Freshly cut sodium is shiny until it oxidizes, which this one is already oxidizing. There's freshly cut. Thirteen grams, exactly what I wanted. Baby oil is not the best to use for this. If you have paraffin, that is better. Baby oil contains other ingredients such as isopropyl palmitate and parfum, perfume I suppose. <sighs> Look at my shelves. Okay, I must do something with this. I'm adding chunks to the reaction vessel. Oh, that fits just okay. Looks good. My ethanol is 99.8%. That's why I have some molecular sieves at the bottom, which should have sucked any water. I forgot to flame dry the glassware. That should be okay. I have an excess of ethanol in here. And I have a rubber septum on top. Uh, should be ready to start the addition. Okay. There's a reflux condenser because this will heat up. Better. Doesn't that look interesting? I've turned on stirring. And there's a drying tube on the top to stop the moisture from entering. The ethanol and the sodium react to form sodium methoxide, which I'll be using in my next video. Put the lid on that. 
keep it dry. I got here benzene, sodium perborate, one four dioxane. There's a lot. Oh, this is nice. Sulfur monochloride, aniline. Nitrobenzene, picric acid, sulfuric acid. Hmm. Then we've got these cupboards. Yep. It's hot enough to melt the sodium. Stirring is on. No, it is not. Okay. Sodium. There's some more in here, which I should really find a better place. Maybe I could put some oil in here. I'll put oil inside here. Baby oil. Better than nothing. I really need more bottles. They're not paying me. Perhaps that's the sodium methoxide, and I need to dissolve it. There was about seven small chunks that I put in here, and they've all melted into one. Stop the stirring. You can see the bubbles. That's the ethanol boiling. There's my thumbnail. Twenty minutes later, it's still doing this. I think I need more ethanol. Interesting. Stirring, look what that did. You missed it, sorry.
that will be my product, sodium methoxide. I've added some more ethanol in the hope that I can dissolve my product and react the rest of the sodium. Still a way to go yet. It has dissolved a lot of that product. And here's the sodium that still needs to react. I think a larger flask would have been better. I need to tidy my lab. Look at that. From my carbon disulfide synthesis. That's mostly sulfur and carbon or just carbon. Some more distillation equipment. So I was designed for... Oh, hang on, I can't do this. That's different, isn't it? Uh, always something broken. Uh, that's what I need. More clamps. Tubing. One of these, I think it has an alcohol burner. It's designed for essential oils or something, but I don't see why I can't use it for. There's the alcohol lamp. And we're still going. And I'm running out of space. Still going. So I better put the condenser back on. So a lot of hydrogen being produced. And this solution should ideally be clear. The sodium had already reacted with the air a little bit before I added it. So there will be some sodium hydroxide. Oh, my hot plate is smoking. I've also heard that this can damage stir bar one of the only things that can, but since they're very cheap, it doesn't matter. I've turned the heat on, by the way, as you can probably tell, I'm trying to speed the reaction. Oops. 
still cold. Thank you.